Hey everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we've got a hitting tips video for you. Today we're gonna to talk about the best way you can get your timing down and the best way you can read off-speed pitches here in MLB The Show 24, all right? But first, y'all do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We're on that road to 20K, getting closer by the day. So you guys make sure to subscribe. I appreciate it. You've been awesome kicking off 24, just like you have been every year. So I appreciate it. Y'all join me for the live streams here, 10 a.m. Central also. We're live most mornings right here on YouTube. So you got those reminders on and those notifications on you. Never Never miss out on those live streams. So catch me this morning here. We'll be having a good time. We're going to pop in here and do something a little different this year, right? So uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, the hitting tips. Um, what we're going to do is in the past years, like the past four years in a row, I have made the same similar like three hitting tips videos, right? Each year we've added something a little bit different to them. And so we've recorded them differently each year and, and done something a little different. But this year in MLB The Show 24, we actually had no hitting updates made to gameplay. SDS told us that. They told us that in the feature premiere, the day that the game actually came out for early release, uh, that no, no adjustments have been made to hitting. Now, we all know, uh, if you've played a little bit, exit velos seem a little bit higher, uh, but other than that, there's nothing changed to the hitting dynamic. You're, you know, uh, the anchor system is still in there. It does everything it did last year. Um, and, and there's really nothing to nothing different about timing or, or, or PCI placement or anything's changed in any of the different versions of hitting interfaces that you use. So what we're going to do is we're going to play you last year's same version of this video right now. It's the hitting tips video on on both those things I discussed, the timing one, two, three, little click, click, boom method that we do, uh, which is awesome. And then also on how to read off-speed pitches better because both things are still 100% effective in this year's game and will help you out a ton. We got fighter jets flying overhead. I don't know if you guys can hear them. Uh, it's crazy sounding. But uh, you guys, make sure to check this video out. It Trust me, we helped a lot of people last year with these tips, so I want to help just as many this year in 24, uh, and you guys will be able to uh, to put it to the game plan, put it to use pretty quickly. But go ahead and check this one out, and we'll catch you here at the end. Guys, so here we are. We've hopped into a little bit of custom practice here inside of MLB The Show 23. We're going to be actually focusing on one thing for timing in, in particular for this. I'll show you guys another tr trick here right after this one. A couple tricks that'll take you from like a below average player to a little bit above average to, to an average player. It'll, it'll, you'll definitely see a little bit of increase in your gameplay. Uh, but timing and PCI placement are the two biggest things that you can focus on inside of MLB The Show, all right? Uh, and it's going to help you with your hitting more than anything else. So the first thing that we're going to do, it's called the one, two, three method or the click, click, boom method. That's what I kind of like to call it based on that song, click, click, boom. Uh, and it's something that you can do to help yourself out. I learned it from uh, one of the other content creators in the community, uh, McGunsky, years ago. Uh, it's something I like to pass on to, but I always like to mention him because that's where I learned it from. So you guys make sure to subscribe to him. Check him out on Twitch also. Uh, but it's a really cool little trick, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to count as the pitcher raises his leg. It's going to be like one and separates the ball. That's one. When he brings the ball up, that's going to be two. So one, two. All right. And then when he starts to release or bring his arm forward, that's going to be three. So we got one, two, three. All right, and it's click, click, boom. One, two, three, click, click, boom. Now we're gonna take a couple of swings. We're gonna see how we do with this here real quick. Let's go, ready? Here we go. One, two, three. There we go, a little line drive up the middle. Perfect, perfect, that's perfect right there. That's exactly what we were looking for. We're looking for perfect timing right there. So one, two, three. I was a little bit late myself. I think I was a little bit delayed. So we go into custom practice to do these things and work on them because it's a little bit easier to explain why you're making videos here. One, two, three. There we go. All right, we got the ball right there. So we're not focused on we're not focused on where the ball is going right now. We're focused on good timing. One, two, three. That's all we're focused on. Hitting the ball good. We want good contact down here in the bottom of the uh, in the bottom of the screen. We're just focused on timing. One, two, three. Not working on anything else. Just good timing. So doesn't matter where the ball is going. You guys hop into custom practice and start working on this. It's like muscle memory. One, two, three. Little click, click, boom. I was a little bit late on that one. Obviously, that's why it went foul. So we're gonna try it here again. Let's go, ready? One, two, three. A little bit late. I'm a little bit late, man. A little bit of delay maybe for me. I'm not used to the slow pitch speeds right now too. They're a little slow me down a little bit after playing online. One, two, three. There we go. I think we got good timing on that one though. That's good. So don't worry about where the ball's going while you're doing this. You're not using your cards. You're using custom practice, guys. One, two, three. And that's fine. I'm a little bit on top of it. Just focus on the good timing. That's all you want to do. I promise you, after you go in and do this for a little while, you'll notice the difference. There we go. When I count it out loud, I, for some reason, don't do it as well. So I'm going to count it in my head right here. You guys do it along with me. 
a eh, little bit late, a little bit late, a little behind it there. That's all right. Here we go. Let's do it. Click, click, boom this time. Here we go. Ready? Click, click, boom. All right. Base it up the middle right there. Good timing. So we've got good timing on a lot of these. That's what we're really looking for. You don't want to worry about hitting those foul balls. It, like it doesn't matter in custom practice. You're just trying to make good, good timed contact a little bit out in front of that one. All right. Let's count it out loud again. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. And the three is really, in essence, your swing. It's not so much maybe the release of the pitcher and the uh, the pitch from the uh, pitcher's hand. Uh, here we go. One, two, three. There we go. Line drive up the middle. Perfect, perfect. All right, there we go. So that's a good one. We'll stop right there. But now what you do, and I recommend going to custom practice for a little bit. The pitch speeds in custom practice are a little different than they are in Diamond Dynasty. Every game mode in this game, the pitch speeds are just a little bit different. So if you've been playing in one mode, it might take you a little while to get it down. But the muscle memory and the repetition of working on this is where it's going to be key to help you out. I promise you that. All right. Now, the other thing that I want to show you guys to help you out with your timing here at MLB The Show 23 is how to read off-speed pitches a little bit better. All right. It's something that I've used over the years and something I noticed early on when I started playing the game. I try to follow the actual stitches coming off the baseball as it really releases from the pitcher's hand. That's not easy for me to do. It's not easy for everybody to do. It's not easy for anybody to do. Uh, but that way, if you if you look for the little red dot in the middle, you can kind of tell when it's an off-speed pitch coming in at you a lot of times. But one of the other big tricks, and this is what I want to talk about right here, is the little hump that actually the ball creates coming out of the pitcher's hand. We're not even going to swing at these right now. We're actually just going to watch pitches in and, and watch them come into the plate. All right, so I want you guys to see exactly what I'm seeing. So as he throws this ball, watch when the ball releases out of his hand. You're going to have to look really close, but you're actually going to see the ball jump out of his hand. We're watching knuckle curves and change-ups right here. That's what he's throwing, knuckle curves and change-ups. So when the ball comes released out of his hand, you watch the ball actually go up in the air before it comes down. You see this little hump come out of it, all right? When you watch fastballs, the ball is going to come straight out of the hand and come down. But anytime it's an off-speed pitch, the moment it releases from his hand, it gets higher than his hand. And you'll, you'll see it when he brings his hand down, the ball is actually comes up like this to come out, all right? Now, it's something you can notice a little bit in real life, but not a whole lot. Pitchers kind of focus on not doing that. But in the game, in the video game, it's something you can pick up and just kind of pay attention to to help yourself with your timing. So that way, if you're judging like that, doing that one, two, three method with fastballs and you're ready for a fastball, but you see that happen, you can adjust to the off-speed pitch. So be sitting on fastball and adjust to the off-speed pitches. That's one of the biggest keys that you can do. But watch it here again as it comes out of his hand. And you guys can see this. You see just the little, the little hump, the little bump as it comes out. It's like, a, it's like it hits a little speed bump as it comes out of his hand and just to float, to float down. I don't know how else to explain it, uh, but hopefully you guys are seeing exactly what I'm talking about. It's something I've shared with the community here for the last couple of years, but it's something really big that'll help you with your timing and getting your pitches uh, and your timing down with pitches here in MLB The Show 23. There's the little hump again right there. That one's on a little high change up he's throwing. So we just want to see how that's working here in the game. Go into some custom practice while you're doing the one, two, three thing and pay attention to these off-speed pitches as well. It'll help you adjust your timing. It'll help you adjust your swing and it'll help you hit the ball overall a little bit better here in the game. All right. All right, you guys. So I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions or anything like that after the video, uh, go ahead and ask in the comments. I try to reply to every single comment that comes into the channel too. So um, I, I love that hitting tip, uh, the the one, two, three method. Like I said, I learned it from the McGunsky years ago um, and it has been beneficial to me every year that I've put it to use. So um, big shout out to him. And uh, he's been very helpful uh, with, with his tips as well. Man, one of the best players in the game. Uh, for many many years, but I hope that helps you out. Like I said, any questions, ask in the uh, in the comments, and we'll uh, we'll try to get you some help. Uh, we've got some other hitting tips and pitching tips videos coming for you as well here uh, soon. So we'll have uh, we'll have more of them posted. But do me a favor, as always, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure to have those notifications on, and we will catch you here on the live stream this morning at 10 a.m. Central, right here on YouTube. Or we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, everybody. Peace.